Hi, my name is Brody Siebert. Um, I am a automotive service technician, uh, journey person, as well as a automotive instructor here for Saskatchewan Polytechnic. What led me to this career in the automotive industry, uh, I grew up on the farm, like a lot of people do here in Saskatchewan, and I grew up around a father that uh, was a heavy duty mechanic, actually. Myself, I was drawn more to the cars, to trucks, uh, wanted to work on that kind of thing, and I always just had that feeling that that was what I wanted to do. Uh, I decided that fairly early on in, in high school, uh, just getting to work on engines and stuff with my dad in the garage growing up and getting to work on stuff on the farm as well. So that kind of got me in, into where, where I'm at today. That's what started it all. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. When I started in the trade, I started at a small shop here in Saskatoon um, with some great technicians around me that were a journey person uh, to get me started and, and uh, help me hone my craft as a technician. Sure, I had some experiences uh, growing up. I worked at a tire shop uh, back home where I grew up in Spiritwood. And then when I came here, I had some of those skills that already in my arsenal, but it was nice to have a great shop behind me, a good boss and good peers in the workplace to uh, get me through my, my apprenticeship and get me to my journey person certificate. Balancing between uh, the apprenticeship side of it, coming to school and on the job training, you know, you go to work every day. We were eight to, or eight to five is what the shop hours were. You know, you get your hour lunch, everything. So that was really nice. And I had my weekends off all the time. So that was a really big plus for me getting into the trade lifestyle wise. It's nice to have my weekends out, you know, go fishing and whatnot. But then when I was able to come in for my time here for each year in each level at school, it was just a really pain, uh, painless process. It really was. Um, and great instructors around here and great peers and your uh, student cores and everything. It's been, it was a great process. Well, the experiences I've had since uh, training wrapped up, uh, obviously one of the greatest feelings ever is getting that ticket in your hand after you're done and you're completed. It's, it's a really rewarding feeling. Really, that's rewarding and it's not enough to do this. But uh, we, after I was done, uh, worked for that same shop for quite some time continued to work in the trade. I ended up working for uh, a dealership and ended up working myself up to service management at that point. And that was a really cool experience. I learned a lot, uh, met a lot of cool people. And then I found myself here at SAS Polytech becoming an instructor. And it's just the automotive industry in general, uh, especially in this province I find is like a small family. When you're, you're in uh, for school, you meet these people, you meet the instructors and uh, you, you meet each other, you see each other at car shows after and it's, it's just really cool. So you know, you, you might not always uh, find yourself working at a dealership after you've completed your ticket. You might even actually go the opposite. You know, you might've got your ticket when you were at a dealership, you might've got that journey person there and then you might've decided to make a shift and change and go maybe start your own shop, start your own business, make, make that money yourself, right? And have a crew underneath you of people that, that you like to work with and, and bring something different to the industry maybe or you might go work for a smaller shop because you like that atmosphere a little bit better. But there is just countless opportunities and different options out there in this trade for, for anyone. So it's great. A typical work day in auto service, you show up with your coffee, you get to your workbench. Typically, if, uh, if we're talking, depending on the environment, you might have a laptop at your workstation at your toolbox. You fire it up and look at what you're, what's, what the day's looking like for uh, what you're gonna be working on. You know, what's lined up at the dealership that day or what's lined up at work that day. What's really cool about the automotive industry is you get a lot of different things every day. You don't just get the same thing. You might not work on a transmission every day, all the day, unless you're working for a transmission shop, obviously. But that's what I've always liked about our industry is it's very diverse in the fact that you might work on a really small car and then somebody will bring in a big truck that day. And you know, it's just, uh, in my experience where I've worked, it's been just a cool environment, uh, always great people to work with and a lot of fun in the shop. You know, it's great to have, have laughter and that makes the work day a lot easier too, but it's a, it's a great trade and I encourage people to definitely get involved in it. What I love about being in the auto uh, service industry, um, what I love as a tech, uh, as an instructor, is that small community of people that I have gotten to know since I started in the trade. And those people seem to have been consistently kind of around my life and in my life throughout the time that I've been in it. You go to a car show and you run into these people that you've went through the apprenticeship program with. Maybe you came through in an EAST certificate program with them. Uh, you meet your instructors that you've seen. It becomes a small family. The car, fam car community in, in this province is kind of, it's just a really welcoming place. And it's really just a, it's a good job and it's a great, great trade to be in.
Some of the advantages here uh, at SAS Poly for the AST program is you have access to state-of-the-art tools, equipment, amazing instructors, just a great program in general from start to finish to provide you with everything that you need to be successful in the trade out there in the world. And it's just a really diverse environment. It's great, it's welcoming. People are, are really friendly around the whole building in general. And we just like to have a lot of fun with our learning environments as well. Just do the best that we can to make sure that everybody gets what they need to go out into the trade and do great. So some advice I'd have for somebody looking at getting into this trade is really diving yourself into the trade and, and studying and you know putting, putting your all into everything that you're doing. Um, I, I think that's a huge tool, not even just in the trades, but life in general, to make sure you're putting your all into everything. Work ethic uh, is a huge thing. If you got passion uh, for, for cars, just for fixing things, using your hands, the automotive industry is a really great thing to get into. Try to find yourself a place that's gonna be really welcoming at bringing in an apprentice at, a, at the st where you're starting out in your career. Um, just make sure you, you know you find yourself in a great position that way and you don't have to go out and spend a fortune on tools right off the bat you know it's uh, you don't always have to buy the fanciest all the time you can start out somewhere and build yourself up and look up different programs and things that you can get yourself into to help you get in like do a youth apprenticeship program um, that's really that's really useful that gets you some hours towards the trade I did that myself and it really helped me. It gets you kind of started a little sooner so you can get yourself into your first level sooner and come to SAS Polytech and get yourself in here to the AST program. There's also grant incentives as well for each level that you complete with uh, not just AST, but trades in general with uh, the apprenticeship program in Sask Saskatchewan. I can't exactly tell you how much it is for each year, but you get a dollar amount for the first year, the second year. And then once you complete your fourth year and you've gotten your Red Seal ticket, then they give you another nice bonus. There's also tax incentives down the road. There's a lot of things that make this trade and make the trades uh, in general appealing uh, for somebody who wants to get started. Well, yeah, and, and if I would have known that that was something right off the bat, like I would have been like even more 100% in on coming to be an, an apprentice and be an automotive tech. As far as uh, the trade goes, you know, there's there's countless opportunities. You could you can. Whatever you decide you want to do, you can be a shop owner, uh, you can work for somebody as long as you want, you can be a service manager, you could be a service writer. You, there's so many things in the automotive industry that aren't just technician wise. But if you get your ticket as a technician, you can move through the industry in different ways and make certain dollar amounts otherwise. And, and uh, it's kind of, the opportunities are kind of endless in my opinion.